Hi everyone and welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to download and install PyCharm Community Edition, a free and powerful Python IDE on Windows 11. Let's get started. First, open your web browser and type PyCharm Community into the search bar. Then, press Enter. In the search results, look for the link that says Download PyCharm, the Python IDE for Data Science and, and then click on it. This will take you to the official PyCharm website. Once you're there, look to the left where it says PyCharm Unified Product and click the download button. You don't have to worry about selecting your operating system. PyCharm will automatically detect it. The download should begin right away, and it might take a couple of minutes depending on your system's speed. After it's done, open your Downloads folder and double-click the PyCharm setup file to start the installation. If you get a pop-up asking for permission to make changes, go ahead and click Yes. Now the installer opens. Click Next to move forward. On the next screen, you'll be asked to choose an install location. I recommend leaving it at the default setting, then click Next again. Now you'll see some installation options. Check the box that says Create Desktop Shortcut, so it's easy to find later. And I also recommend checking Add Bin Folder to the Path. This will let you run PyCharm from the command line. Then click Next. On the Start Menu Folder screen, just leave everything as it is and click Install. Now the installation begins. This might take a few minutes, so sit tight. Once it's finished, you'll be asked whether you want to reboot now or manually reboot later. I'm going to choose I want to manually reboot later and then click Finish. Great, now let's check if it's working. Head to your desktop, find the PyCharm icon and double click to open it. Once PyCharm opens, click New Script. A Python script window will load automatically. Now I'll go ahead and run the default code that PyCharm provides. And there it is. It runs successfully. In the terminal at the bottom, we can see the message. Hi, PyCharm. Everything's working perfectly. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this helpful, feel free to like the video, leave a comment, or subscribe for more tutorials.